Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a video on the Hado Labo Hyaluronic Acid Lotion Mist or Moist. It says moist on here, but it could be a mist. So the product looks like this. I was able to purchase this from Amazon.ca for $16 and it took a month and a half before it got to me here in Canada. This contains a um, this contains 170 mils of product in it and it's a clear solution here let me show it to you so it has an open top so there's a very small hole on the top of this cap that allows the product to pour out the solution is clear and it's runny and it doesn't feel sticky I would describe this feeling as slippery The way I like to use this product is when I get out of the shower and my face is still wet, I slap some of this, I pour this into the palm of my hands and I slap it onto my face and I don't let it sit there for too long. My when you when you know when I get out of the shower, my washroom is still, you know, it's very humid because I was running the shower water. So there's a lot of humidity that is in that shower. Um, space so I'm not too worried about letting this sit on my face without applying a moisturizer for the for the for the two minutes that I spend in there so I go on top of um, this lotion with a natural moisturizer so here I go on with the CeraVe daily moisturizer so the one in the tub and and then I let it you know dry but I never leave this as the only product on my face so whenever I use this product I always follow up with a moisturizer because this is a humectant so it draws water from not only from the like the environment that you're in but also from deeper layers of the skin so your skin feels plump and moisturized however over a period of time, when the water is close to the surface of your skin, it's also prone to evaporation. And if you're in a place like Canada where you know we have a lot of heaters on the indoors, you're prone to a lot of dryness. And I think that this can really set off a bad flare if you if you have other pre-existing inflammatory diseases for example I suffer from mild acne so I think that if I were to only use this as the only product I use after the shower I think it can set off some acne so n never use this by itself always follow up with a moisturizer and the way I think works best is when your face is damp and then you throw this on another thing I would suggest is to not use a cotton pad because cotton is cotton can absorb a lot of moisture and you will lose your product as opposed to going into your skin or on sitting on top of your skin the cotton pad would absorb this product and you lose you know the duration of uh, using this product because you get 170 mils I believe that I can you know use it for the rest of the year so right now I'm that far into this bottle it was almost full so I have used a lot more than I need to just because I was really testing out this product and I think I was just being I was not being as careful as I should be I've been using this from the beginning of January so I've only used it this year I'm hoping to use this for the rest of the year. I think there's a lot of product. So I think in terms of cost efficiency, this is a pr good product to go for. And my other favorite thing about this product is that it's fragrance free and it does not contain any plant derivatives that could potentially set off irritation and sensitivity to the skin. So I think it's great for that. I don't think this is a product that is exclusively for people with 
dry skin. I think if you have combination skin, you can use this product as well. With that said, I'm not really sure how this would sit on a person with oily skin. I personally have combination dry skin and I found this to be very moisturizing. So the way I use it, it helped me feel it had it helped me really moisturize my skin and heal some hyperpigmentation that I got due to, you know, getting pimples and acne. So I think that this is more suited for people who have dry skin, but I could be wrong. I've just not, I don't have oily skin, so I'm not really sure how that would be suited for them. The last thing I want to touch on is that this product is not a necessity in anyone's skincare. If you're someone on a budget, and you know you're a skin enthusiast like I am then go for this because I feel like there are some benefits to using this product for example this gives me that youthful glow I'm not really old to call to say that I want you know youthful glow but I think that this does give me a lot of um, transient glow with that said, it also helps because it's a humectant and because it holds on to water and prevents some of that water loss, it heals my acne scars a lot faster than not using this product at all. I also want to remind you know my viewers that I use tretinoin, which I got a dermatologist a dermatologist prescribed to me. So that is the most efficient product that I use for acne um, in, in terms of healing the acne and also healing the scar that I get after having a breakout. But this also helps with, I think it slightly accelerates the healing process. But I do want to emphasize that nobody should feel like they have to have this product to have good skin. This is an extra that I added onto my skin. If you are a minimalist, if you want to keep things to the basics, a good moisturizer that already has glycerin or hyaluronic acid or other protein or other compounds that are humectants, you know, urea, glycolic acid, these are all humectants. You can stick to using those products that already contain this you don't have to go the extra mile to try something like this out so you know as much as I enjoy this product and I see some benefits with it I don't consider this a necessity and if you've tried this product do let me know in the comments below I would love to find out more through you and thanks for watching bye